on the beginning of this new week, which is also the same day, 1316 years ago, where the 88th Pope, Pope Constantine, was elected. This would be the last time a Pope would visit Constantinople in 1259 years. That's how long the now renamed, for whatever reason, Istanbul would have to wait to get a Pope to come over there. Now, talking about visits for today, we're talking about the visiting of rewards coming to your nearby activity. Because something has been realized after looking at the Plunderstorm event. These are the, currently, known rewards for Plunderstorm. You have yourself three different available mounts, you then have two, three different pets, you then have one, two, three full transmog sets, a whole bunch of weapons, a tabard, and also finishing up with upwards of one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five different titles to this limited time event. Now, obviously, we know why these rewards are put into this event. It's a limited time event, you want players to go and play the damn thing, so you have to put some things in it to be, to be worth, you know, spending time into. The question is the opposite. The question isn't why do we have the rewards in this activity. The question is where are the rewards in the other activities? Mentioning the trinity of end game competitive content in WoW, we have PvP, whether it is Battlegrounds or Arenas, then we have Mythic Plus, and then we have the Raid. You know, having, having five different titles limited to this single event, where you basically barely even have five titles across Mythic Plus, PvP, and Raid combined, it's, uh, you know, it's interesting. You, it makes you wonder why aren't we getting that many rewards, or whichever way you see it, some sort of encouragement for the player base to actually spend time playing the game. You know, if you look at Mythic Plus, for example, the sadness of the situation right now in Mythic Plus, you have a shitty ground mount to get at 2k rating, you get of course the, the hero title if you are one of the very very few players in, in Mythic Plus, and then you have the, the challenger, you know, the season master type of reward with the, with the combat related mark of mastery, together with the season hero meta achievement to give you the Blossom Dream stone the you know the changing to the appearance of your of your tier set those are basically the rewards for mythic plus with the newly added from last expansion the portals from doing a 20 or higher but that's just it right that's just all there is you have a couple of shitty recolored reworked mounts from mythic plus and basically a title if you're one of the very 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 few players to actually do that the raid isn't even much better it has a similar level of skimpy rewards and that's kind of the question the question of you know don't you think that being offered more rewards would push you in playing the game more Obviously, it doesn't mean you have to be, you know, you have to be blackmailed by Blizzard with a bunch of rewards to play the game, and we assume you, you know, you would enjoy playing the game normally, right? Think about, think about, for example, right now, right now, you might be like one of many players who has taken, you know, a backseat in this season. You are perhaps playing some other games. There are maybe some other seasons of other games coming out. Maybe you want to play PoE's new season coming out soon. Maybe even Diablo 4 in, in, in a bit over a month rather than being in Dragonflight right now without much to do. Now the question is what if? You know, what if the game also had several rewards like for example more extra transmogs plus titles plus mounts available from some extra activity in Mythic Plus. Like for example, instead of the rewards stopping at 2500 rating, what if we had the rewards continuing at 2800 and then 3000 and then 3300 and then 3600, continuing with more, more transmog rewards, recolors, additions to titles and pets and mounts, etc, etc. What about if Blizzard extended the rewards not just to your one character but to the entire account? This could free up situations where you had achievements like for example reaching 3000 rating on two different characters. 
Maybe you could have the, the Holy Trinity achievement where you get to reach 3000 or 3300 or 2800 rating with three different roles, tank, healer and DPS. And doing that would give you a full transmog reward plus a title plus a mount. Now the question is how many players in this downtime period would kind of be enticed, pushed, encouraged to try out something else in Mythic Plus because of this reward. Right now, if you were asked to do this, you would be like, fuck no, what do I even gain from rolling an extra character, a tank from scratch or a healer from scratch just to grind Mythic Plus up to a certain rating other than, I don't know, posting it on Reddit saying that I did it and get some upvotes. That's not nearly enough to get me to play even more in the game, you know, three, four, five months into a season. But if that type of commitment also gave me a bunch of rewards that also to an extent are limited because they are, you know, for the season and maybe they change the season after, for example, then I perhaps would have more of an incentive on spending time in the game. There could be a similar connection with this when it comes to the raid. There could be some extra achievements tied to killing or defeating bosses in different, you know, extra ways that make the boss perhaps more challenging or harder, or maybe something that we mentioned before, some type of weekly quests available in the raid, asking you to complete the boss in a certain way, all in the name of getting more rewards. Of course, we are back to the point number one, which is you must be to some degree enjoying the activity for you to actually you know partake in it it's not that just because there are now a bunch of rewards suddenly suddenly you discover yourself a mythic raider the reward themselves might not be enough however there is definitely from my own experience my own my own friends around the game etc etc there are plenty of players who are simply not playing or not playing enough because they don't see much incentive to be in the game still several months into a season it's not that they necessarily don't like the game or don't want to play the game it's just that after a while you know the <laughs> the push the pull of the game goes down slows down because the players don't see a you know a goal in front of them a target to go for week after week Meanwhile, if you added more, definitely more rewards than what we have now in these activities, the chances that more and more players would feel like they are progressing day by day or week by week towards a juicy reward would definitely get more players to, to just be engaged in the game for longer. Which then brings us back to the original question, which is why? Why don't we have this? Why don't we have, uh, how hard rather, how hard could this be for, for Blizzard? Or rather, what would be the mentality of the developers over at Blizzard as to why exactly aren't we getting nearly as many rewards from these type of activities? You know, why do we have to develop the entirety of Aberus just to give you a reskin of the Highland Drake? And that's coming from Mythic difficulty, so limited for a long time to a very, very limited amount of, of players. Another mount from the glory of the Aberus Raider, which is a time-consuming type of achievement and not even that engaging. And then a couple of titles, one of which, of course, is a very limited one from from being in the hall of fame that's it that's all there is no more titles no more mounts no more transmogs or extra special rewards in the raid just a couple of mounts and one or two titles as rewards right and the question would be why why isn't there more Amir Jassil has pretty much continued this trend of very few rewards available in the raid, which is then paired with a few rewards from Mythic Plus and the even fewer rewards from PvP. This is not to say, of course, that a player needs to be essentially spoon-fed, pushed, to get to play the game by constantly showering them in rewards, of course, but we have seen. We have seen, even in Plunderstorm, the amount of complaints from players. We haven't even made a video about this because my brain couldn't possibly handle the IQ deficiency of the posts I've seen around the Plunderstorm event, and many of the complaints were around how much time do I have to spend in this mode to get the rewards I want. Most of the complaints were, I want to work less and put less time in it to get these rewards faster. So it's pretty funny that we have to talk about the time spent in this event to get the rewards when the already existing rewards in the game that exist every time, at all times, raiding, PvP, Mythic Plus, don't even have 
many rewards to begin with. Of course, as we said, it's understandable why this mode would have this many rewards since it's a, it's a limited time event and you expect players to be engaged in it. Certainly you have to put some, some things for them to, to work towards, but why doesn't this very, very simple and easy to understand logic not apply to our already existing game modes in Dragonflight? And of course, this goes back this goes back basically since forever, even in BFA, in Shadowlands, in Warlords, in Legion, whatever you want, the rewards from your everyday activities in a competitive setting, whether it was PvP or the Raid or Mythic Plus, have always been shockingly low compared to the amount of effort and time you have to put in these modes, you definitely don't get nearly enough rewards for it. So this is, this is today's question. Where is the juice in these activities? Why aren't we getting way more rewards for these activities? Even just to entice, even just to give players the itch to play the activity, to play more of the game, if even for just a, a new transmog, a new mount, or a new title, something special that can come from the event. Why don't we have the simplest of the <laughs> solutions? Why don't we have something like a renowned system for Mythic Plus and a renowned system for the raid? Just to get you, for example, to work more towards rewards the more you engage with the activity. This could be a simple and healthy way to get players to be more attached and more more into a season for longer rather than starting to feel you know without things to do early on in the season this could extend yeah this could extend the player retention in a season for longer one two weeks three weeks maybe a month to get players to work towards or to chase the achievements the, they wanted for the different activities i think this would be definitely healthy and when we talk about adding these things the the, the opposite would be could this hurt the game? Could we create a negative, a negative environment? Could the players, you know, feel like they are pressured to do this or something that is long term, not healthy for the game? This type of addition is, you know, it's hard to see how this could hurt the average player in the long run, just adding more rewards throughout your in-game activities to, to give you something more to look forward to. Whenever you log into the game week by week and you see your progress towards these, these type of rewards. That's, that's today's point on this Monday, wishing for more rewards to get players to work more towards these rewards in these activities, in these mainstay holy trinity of competitive activities in WoW right now. So let me guys know, of course, what is your take on this? If you never really thought about getting rewards in any of these activities and just played them just because you enjoyed them, you would be one of the one of the few ones that would that would stand by this uh, by this uh, creed. And then also from any one of you guys who does indeed agree with the take of you know, wishing there could be something more to work towards in these activities to log into the game more often, or at least more excited to be working towards something for longer during a season. So with this take on this Monday, we can now leave each other. We are starting, of course, as usual, by thanking all of the Patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of the channel, which can, as usual, still be given completely for free, like liking and commenting down below, as well as subscribing to the channel itself. Now, with these things out of the way, Thank you guys again for watching, see you guys tomorrow, and in the meantime, goddamn, after three to four days of an awful sleep schedule, we are now back on track, even though I only slept for four hours, so that's gonna be tough.